How many calories does muscle burn at rest? And is that really the number you should be interested in? Hey guys, I'm Daniel Richter, CEO of Strength Log and Certified Strength Coach. We got a great question today from one of our podcast listeners, Anders, who wants to know how many calories does muscle mass burn? And is it true that you increase your resting metabolic rate if you build bigger muscles? This is a great question and an interesting topic. One that has been used to lure many unsuspecting people into strength training with the promise of building bigger muscles so that they burn more calories all the time and can eat more cheese sandwiches. And it's true, if you build bigger muscles, you are gonna increase your resting metabolic rate. Your resting metabolic rate is the constantly ongoing burning of calories to keep the lights on in your body, to keep your body running. So even at rest, your brain and heart and lots of organs are working and they consume energy to keep you warm and to keep you alive. And even tissues like fat and muscle consume energy even when they're not being used. So even a muscle at rest is gonna burn some calories. So a study from 2010 looked into how much energy or calories does different tissues in the body and different organs consume when they are at rest. And they found that one kilo of fat tissue, or roughly two pounds, consumes four and a half calories per day. So not a lot. Muscle tissue consumes more at rest, but not by a ton. One kilo of muscle consumes 13 calories per day. And yeah, I really mean kilocalories, but in English, the convention seems to be to just say calories when you really mean kilocalories. So anyway, if you were to gain 10 kilos or 20 pounds of muscle mass, you would increase your resting metabolic rate by around 130 calories per day. Not insignificant, but also not a huge deal. And I think a lot of people are expecting bigger numbers. But the resting metabolic rate doesn't really paint the whole picture. Normally, when we try to calculate or estimate someone's total daily energy expenditure, we multiply the resting metabolic rate by some factor to account for their activity levels. And a common such factor is about 1.5. So that represents if you have either a fairly active lifestyle or maybe a fairly sedentary lifestyle, but you also do work out several times per week. So roughly 1.5 lands you in the vicinity of most people's daily energy expenditure. And 1.5 times those 13 calories per kilo of muscle, well, that is roughly 20 calories per kilo. And if you were to build 10 kilos of muscle mass, that's almost 200 calories extra per day in your metabolic rate when you account for your activity levels. But I still don't think it really paints the whole picture. If we were to make an analogy of a car, and let's say that you switch out a car engine from a smaller engine to a bigger engine, and that represents building bigger muscles in this case. So if you wanted to assess how much the fuel consumption has increased of this car engine, you wouldn't really be interested in knowing how much fuel it consumes when it's idling, like when the motor's running but you're not driving anywhere. You'd be interested in seeing how much fuel does it consume when you're driving the car. And with a bigger and stronger engine, you are going to be able to move faster, accelerate faster, and burn more fuel. So the analogy for muscle is that if you build a ton of muscle, then you've got a bigger engine. You've got bigger, stronger legs, glutes, core, backs, everything. So that when you move around, you're able to do so more than before. You might be able to do so longer than before and with more power and acceleration and just generally move around, lift heavier stuff than you were able to do with a smaller engine. So my suspicion is that this number could be even greater when you account for the changes in your activity or maybe even your lifestyle when you build bigger muscles. And also if we broaden our perspective a bit more and back away from the focus on caloric burn, I mean, that's not even on my top reasons for why you should be looking to build more muscle. It's nice, but there are bigger benefits of building muscle. Muscle mass looks awesome. It makes you stronger, which is super useful. It improves your metabolic health by keeping your blood sugar and blood fats under control. It's protection against injuries, like an armor you wear all the time. And it's like a savings account for when you get older and start losing muscle mass, or if you get ill and get bedridden for weeks or several months. That is gonna make some heavy withdrawals from your muscle back, and the more muscle mass you have before you get ill or before you get old, the bigger your buffer is gonna be. So yeah, building bigger muscle is gonna increase your metabolic rate, but there are tons more of great reasons to build a lot of muscle. And the best way to build muscle is that when you get into the gym, you write down the exercises, the weights, the sets, and the reps that you do in our free workout tracker app, Strength Log, which you can download for free below this video. And then the next time you get into the gym, you look at what you did last time and try to improve upon that in some small bit. Maybe one more rep or one more set or slightly heavier weights. And by repeating this every time you go into the gym week after week, you're gonna get a lot stronger and build a lot more muscle. All right, I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you try out our free workout tracker app, Strength Log, and I will see you in the next video. Train hard, eat well, die anyway.